Hello class, this week's masterpiece is none other than Pablo Picasso's Garnica. Now this piece was selected for its amazing quality of showing value throughout a piece. Let's take a little bit closer look at each piece of this painting. We're zooming in here. Now I just give you a sense of scale for this piece. Uh, Picasso did this on a, a canvas totaling 137 inches by 307 inches. 307 inches wide. Now 12 inches is a foot, so I'll let you do the math there. This thing is breathtaking. Now here's the front part of Garnica. Pablo Picasso painted this in 1937. He painted it because on the afternoon of April 26, 1937, the Basque town of Garnica was devastated by German bombers and fighters from the Condor Legion, acting on Franco's orders. The bombardment lasted three hours, destroying half of the town. It left over 1,600 defenseless civilians dead. When Picasso started painting Garnica, many of his motifs, such as the horse and bull, or personal ambivalent symbols related to the bullfight, which I've been running through Picasso's works for years. So basically, Spanish Civil War, they decimated the town. Pablo Picasso got inspiration for it and wanted to encapsulate the horrors of war in Guernica. Now here is an actual picture of it. This is how large this painting is. Those are real people. Those are full-size adults, guys. This painting is massive. Uh, some critics consider Garnica to be the greatest painting of the 20th century. It is definitely the most famous anti-war painting, becoming as much a symbol for the misery of modern war in general as for atrocity in the Spanish Civil War. And now, a masterpiece of the week won't be complete without its uh, parodies. So on top, we see the Sesame Street being recreated here. For Garnica, now it's kind of a, no, it's not kind of, it is an extremely dark and mournful painting to be recreated in such a comical way. Uh, below, we see the Simpsons with their take um, doing the same thing. Here's some more parodies of it. <laughs> of course, the Star Wars one using high quality images and below a little Nightmare Before Christmas theme. A quote from Picasso himself. The bull is not fascism, but it is brutality and darkness. The horse represents the people. The Ganicka mural is symbolic. This is him speaking of this painting in 1945. Now the bull he's referring to is seen on the left side of the canvas. And in the direct middle there, you can see the horse. Uh, a theme of this painting is, is women. You see them everywhere in this image. They're crying out. They are running their way. They are terrified. Uh, using these depths of value and these nightmarish images contrived in such a unique and dynamic way, Pablo wanted to get a point, get the point across uh, of the horrors of war and the senseless destruction of the civilians' lives that were lost.